so we are discussing the chapter 4 of ICT forms and we have seen various aspects of form let us uh, continue with the check boxes last we have seen the radio button so the check boxes in radio button we can select only one option from multiple options but if you want to choose multiple options from various options or multiple options from multiple options then you will use these check boxes all the attributes like the name align value and tab index they are similar to the radio button attribute and if uh, uh, you want to group them or you say that checkbox they are they are similar then you does not or you do not uh, give them a different name for example if this is the checkbox uh, group you are going to make that means i love to eat chalk I love to eat laddu, I love to eat cake. So the input type would be checkbox and the name would be all sweet. And the value can will change because then this is what you are going to see. So the result would be I love to eat chocolate, I love to eat laddu and cake. So you can check these two or these two or all these or none of these. So this is up to you. Now command button, this is a very important button. See, you have filled up the form. Now you want to send it. And you know that sending is via get or post method. For this submitting or the button which is provided in the form is the input type which can be submit or reset. Submit when you activate it, all the content which is uh, being filled up in the form will be sent to the server. And a form may contain more than sub one submit button also. The reset button, all the content which is written here, if uh, you reset it, all will be gone. So it will be refreshed. So for the next uh, entry, now the form is available or it is ready. And the action attribute, as we see in the example, see here, that this is the form method you, can, you are using post. And you want to put some action like you want to email something. This submit means this submit button, which has a value email yourself, email yourself is given here. So when you press it, then an email will be generated. It will open your email inbox in some email um, say service. Now we also have a drop down box. See if you want to say uh, convert or see convert conversion of your currency or you want to book some ticket from one place to another then a drop box will surely help you you choose number of there are number of options you choose any of this so this is the drop down box so you have select tag and inside that you can give various options so the select will make a drop down box and all the options are given here. So the name size multiple values or name size are similar but multiple means if you want to provide multiple selections then you use this multiple. And also this value that means the value is shown as chocolate say but inside it you want to give it as or you want the internal program to treat it as CH only like the currency India will come as one option now you want this India well, when the user select inside the program it should be treated as a, treated as INR Indian rupees so this is the value so the option tag is like this you start with select and with select and inside this you give various options and if you give or if you want some some option to be selected always selected then you use this selected also by default. This is an example. This code displays the whole form. There is a form. Inside this, the taste of food is to be selected. And you see the name is taste. And the size is 4. That means at a point or at an instance, you will see only 4 options. So this is size equal to 4. Now in this option value is Indian, all these uh, values are there and it is selected. What does mean? What does it mean selected? 
this Indian will come selected by default. And then when you press a submit button, it will email you. So means the value on that button will be written as or will be presented as email yes. So this is how it is given. But now we have changed the output as six items. So Indian is selected, and these are six items as you can see. So before we can summarize, let us go to the practical uh, presentation or representation of what we have learned. I have already taken the content from the book, and in the previous discussion, we have shown up till this radio button. Now we'll show the check boxes. So let us make a new file. File new. Let us name it as. I am using Notepad plus plus. I am saving it as HTML. So let me save it as save as say uh, form two because we are taking the second part of form. Let me save it as this save. Now the first is check boxes. So I have made a form, or actually I have taken this content from the book. So the form is made. Inside this, I have three options. Input type is checkbox. The names are similar, sweet, and the values are like this. Let me save it and run it for you. So these are three options. I can select this, 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 all of these, or say these two. So multiple options can be chosen. The second example which we want to present here is the this one which is actually giving us the glimpse of the drop down or drop down box. So what we are going to get here is this is a form which will use the post method. This will uh, in, initiate a mailbox. Then this is the select option, and you have Multiple means you can choose multiple options. The size would be four. Let us make it say five, or let us make it uh, three. Let's say five because we will choose uh, multiple. These are the options as you will be able to see. An Indian will be selected, and there will be a button sub uh, which will show you email yourself. As we have not configured any email service, you will see some email coming. Email box opening. So let me save it and run it for you. So these are the options we have cho chosen for. Indian is already selected. I can choose multiple. So I've chosen Indian and Chinese, and let me email yourself. So this is a email box which is trying to open. Okay. So we have seen the practical example also. Let us summarize. So form is for collection of uh, information from the user. There are two methods. How by which you can post the information in the form. It can be get or post. The input tag will connect the information. It can be text field. It can be text area. Text field for one line. Text area for multiple line. Radio button. One option from the multiple options. Check box. Multiple options from multiple options. And the command button is for pressing the data to be sent to the server. Submit button. Exactly same. Reset. Reset buttons will reset the data. Initial values means uh, to the default values or no values. Drop downs to the multiple list which is coming or multiple options coming for the user to select. So select an option will do the task. So this is all about the this chapter forms. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.